this is Mike again with AIM X-Ray. And this is video number two in a series about collimators. Today we're gonna to talk about a test that I do during your calibration called the light to radiation field test. And in this test, we check to make sure that your light field matches your radiation field. If your light field is here, but your radiation field is up over here, we need to move your light field up to match where your radiation field is. It's kind of like uh, adjusting the scope on a rifle. You want to make sure that you get it sighted in so that you're you're hitting your target every time. Okay, let's talk real quickly about why this test is so, so important. Obviously, if your light field is not in the same place as your radiation field, your images are going to get cut off uh, during exposures. It is very important to call them in, in within a half inch of the subject, especially when you're using digital. There are a few reasons for doing this. First of all, you're going to decrease radiation scatter. Secondly, you'll reduce radiation dose. So lastly, you'll increase subject contrast, making the image more diagnostic and readable. Okay, with those points covered, let's get into the actual light to radiation field test. Here we'll take an exposure and you'll see on the screen where the radiation field is by where it glows. So you can see that it's off a bit here and we will need to adjust the light field to match the radiation field. This is the V125 Fentanary Collimator and we'll show you how to make the adjustment to the light field. So to make the adjustment from side to side you need to loosen this screw and move the light socket back and forth until you're in alignment or up and down by loosening this screw. This is an older version of the V125 Collimator. It has one screw that you loosen. It does not have a left or right. It just slides around in here freely. It's not very accurate at all. Here we're doing the test with the glow screen. Here we're using the collimator test tool to test alignment. Here you can see the results of the test. We're on on this side. We're off by about a quarter percent there. 1% down here, and half percent over here, well within the regulation standards. Let's see how you make adjustments on the LX125 collimator. We have the same type of adjustment on this collimator. You loosen the screw and you move up, down, or side to side to adjust the light field. Now let's do the test using the LX125 collimator and see the results. You can see that we need to adjust the light field over to the right to match the radiation field. So here we'll move the light field to the right about 1% so we'll match up with the radiation field. We'll repeat the test and see the results. So now you've seen how we do the light to radiation field test and how we make the adjustments. If you suspect that your light to radiation field may be off or you're out of alignment, please reach out to us at our website at www.aimxray.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.